Despite his team's relatively early exit from the playoffs this season, most people agree that Kevin Durant is the second best basketball player alive. Unfortunately for his name recognition and his Q rating, his career is playing out at the same time as the best basketball player alive, LeBron James. One of the greatest leaders in the history of the Jewish people has the same issue. Aaron, Aharon, the Kohen Gadol, the high priest, saw most of his career play out at the same time as that of his younger brother, Moses, Moshe, who's far more well-known. But if we take the time to analyze some of the high points of Aaron's career, we'll get an inkling as to just how great he was in his own right. Rashi, the famous commentator, explains that the reason that this week's Torah portion begins with the command to Aaron to light the menorah, immediately after the end of last week's Torah portion, the description of the gifts that each one of the tribes brought was for this reason. Aaron was upset when he saw that he and his tribe didn't participate in the bringing of all those gifts. All the other tribes, each leader brought one. Aaron didn't bring one on behalf of his tribe. So God cheered him up and said, don't worry, you're going to light the menorah. That's even better. So it sounds like Aaron was a little jealous. But that's strange, because we know he didn't have a jealous bone in his body. How do we know that? If you look back in Exodus chapter 3 and chapter 4, Moshe is standing at the burning bush, and he's arguing with God. God's telling him, you have to go back to Egypt to lead the Jewish people out. And Moses says, who am I? And then he says, they won't believe me. And he says, I don't speak that well. I'm not eloquent. And God patiently, day after day, answers and rebuts each of his concerns, each of his complaints, until finally the last one. Moses says, send whom you'll send, meaning send Aaron, send my brother. He's the leader. He'll be upset. He'll be jealous if I dispossess him of the mantle of leadership. And now God gets angry. And he says, Aaron, your brother is on his way to meet you. And when he sees you, he'll rejoice. Why? Because Aaron's not going to be jealous. He's not going to be angry. He understands. He was supposed to be the leader until now, and now his younger brother's taking over. And that's great, because what it's all about is serving God, finding your role. So think about it. At the time when most of us would have been jealous, losing the leadership to our kid brother, Aaron's not in the least. And at the time when most of us would have been very happy to just stand pat, watching others get called on to donate, to dip into their bank accounts. We'd have been happy to sit this one out. And Aaron's upset, he's dismayed, I want to help. I want to do more. And now we can understand why the Torah says so many times in this week's portion and others that God commanded Moses and Aaron, or he commanded Aaron, and Aaron did exactly as he was commanded. And as Rashi says, it means he didn't deviate. Would you think that Aaron of all people would deviate? You know what, God? I got a better idea. Or would he put in a half-baked effort? Of course not. But here was his hallmark. He used to love to make peace between his fellow men. So if he'd see two people fighting, he'd run to one and say, you know that other guy with whom you're in a fight? He wants to apologize to you. Really? And then he'd quickly run to the first guy and say, you know, that guy whom you're fighting, he's looking for you to apologize. And in the end, they'd come together. So was Aaron lying? Was he deviating? No. Because he knew that deep down, both of these guys did want to apologize. They wanted to get over their petty jealousies or fighting. How did he know that? Because he got there. He looked the green-eyed monster in the eye and stared him down. He got over jealousy and he understood the freedom that that brought him, the freedom to now serve God without the distraction of hatred or jealousy. And he knew without any question that any person would like to get to that point. Now, I hate to argue with someone who's smarter than I am. But I have to point out, Kermit the Frog, you're wrong. It is very easy being green. It's so easy to be jealous. And it's so difficult not to be. But we can do it. That's what Aaron, the high priest, stuck into our psyche. The ability to overcome and slay the green-eyed monster. Mm -hmm.